Let's eat. Good Morning Washington starts now. You know we love a good meal here on Good Morning Washington, but get this, one man has spent the last six years dining across the country, including most Michelin-starred restaurants. He's gone more than 800 days eating restaurant food for every meal. Our Britt Waters live this morning in Northwest Washington with that incredible story. Good morning, Britt. Good morning, I'm at Bresca and Imagine having the best life. You get to eat out every meal, share it with the world. That's what it's like being a professional eater. And I'm here with the guy who calls himself that of High Speed Dining, Joel Haas. How are you? Cheers, doing great. Thanks for having me. What did you eat today? <laughs> you know, I had some uh, leftover takeout food from Anju, uh, Korean food this morning. Uh, a little bit of beef and uh, a couple of dumplings. Got to get some protein in this body to you know, get me going for the day. Absolutely, now tell us, where did it start where you just decided I'm gonna eat every meal out and just make it work? I've been working from home since 2008 and the more I worked, the more money I made, which means I never left home. So it hit a point where I'm like, I gotta get out of the house, I gotta get out. And I started pushing myself to go eat and I found when I get to a restaurant, all my problems disappeared. I've never been happier, and every single night when I'm out, I'm not happier than, than when I'm sitting at a restaurant. It's just so great. It brings, brings a great smile to my face, and uh, food is fantastic. It's one of the few things that brings great comfort, I think, in this time. And yeah. when the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. uh, I started just doing takeout since I couldn't get out all the time. And I have eaten restaurant food for every single meal this pandemic. I get out a lot, but a lot of it is takeout. Amazing. Out. Food makes you happy. And watching you enjoy food makes other people happy. But I need to know the secrets. How are you getting all of these reservations? And where do you learn about new places to eat? It takes a lot of research when you're hitting a new city. Uh, some of the big cities like a DC or New York or Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, there's Michelin guides and a lot of review types of things, so I follow those guides a lot, but when you're hitting a new city, uh, you want to research, do a little Googling, ask a lot of questions, yeah. things like that. When it comes to getting reservations, some of these places sell out literally in seconds. Oh, I know. They're tough, so the key is you've got to figure out the day things go live. It sounds simple, but some places will put an entire month or a week, even several months up on one day, one specific time, so uh -huh. you've just got to be ready know the time, research it, and get online and do your refresh, refresh, refresh. It it's takes like, work. It takes work. Like, and I hope you don't mind me asking, how do you afford to dine like a king? Are there some deals out there that we don't know about? Uh, I've done okay, but there are some pretty good deals. Like in town here, there are 10 different Michelin star restaurants that mm -hmm. you can do a meal for under $100. I know that's a few bucks, but for this quality and high level of stuff, uh, that is a really good price. Places like Bresca and or Taleb Goat, the Dabdi, um, you know, Albi just got a Michelin star, Middle yeah. Eastern food. There's a lot of great ones for under 100 bucks. You can do really well per person, and it's going to be one of the best meals you've ever had. And I love how you capture the moments, but you do it respectfully, and you have special codes that are around filming for social media while eating. Yeah, when you're in a restaurant, uh, you don't want to be obtrusive to other people. Yeah. Keep to yourself, in a sense. I mean, just... Just don't intrude upon other people's tables and stuff. Uh, if you're going to video the staff and stuff, make sure you ask if it's okay. Most people always say, sure, fine, just let them know instead of shoving a camera in their face. Or just watch from home where the professional eater does it himself. Follow him at High Speed Dining. I'm going to get more keys to the code. Back to you guys. What a Cheers. fun story. Yeah, Thanks so for cool. sharing that Thanks, with Britt. us, Britt. Let's eat. Let's eat.